So every team in college basketball has a guy, a star. May necessarily not be the leading scorer, but just that guy that you know can go out and get buckets. And I think for Texas, it's going to be Greg Brown for Shaka Smart. This dude was a big-time recruit coming out of the state of Texas, coming out of Austin, that Shaka needs. And he's opened a lot of eyes in college basketball this year, Tim. Yeah, I'll let you take a little bit of a peek under the hood here. They call, like, Greg Brown, they call him dudes. Like, when you're a dude, that means, like, you're a bad dude because you got a whole bag in your game. And we're going to show you a little bit about what Greg Brown can do. Put it on the floor, no problem. Step back jumpers at Kansas, no problem. Well, when I see kind of his movements and stuff, I know this is a bit of a stretch, but he did go to Texas. When I see this step back, I see a lot of Durant in his game. Uh, he's got those long arms. Uh, you're going kind of reverse step back. That's tough to do, Cam. Yeah, very tough to do and shot that beyond the three-point line. So you think about he's able to put that together. It makes me intrigued, and I'm sure it makes NBA scouts intrigued of, hmm, what else could he do? What else could he work on and add to his game to make him that much better? No doubt, he's a lottery pick. Let's agree on that. But going forward, how can he be a guy in the NBA that can make teams better and make himself better? But that's what the league is. That's what college basketball is. That's what the NBA level is. You have guys that are six eight. 6'9", six, 6'10", six, that can put it on the floor, step back, and knock down shots. And he likes to mix it up a little bit inside the lane, Tim. He's averaging just under 10 rebounds a game, almost a double-double for the season. So Greg Brown is as real as they get, or like you like to call him, he's a real dude. He's a dude. Yeah, when I see him going to his left hand like that, uh, the emoji that I would describe it, Give me the hearts over the eyes, okay? Because that is stuff that I dreamed about, putting the ball on the floor, finishing with my opposite hand, and then the ability to take some contact. You talked about the next level. Th this is going to be ultimately what decides if he's an okay player or a great player. You know, you have to have that strength. doesn't mean you're going to be Lou Ferrigno out there and be the strongest guy on the court, but you have to have that ability to take contact when you're driving, if someone's riding your hip. You're going strong to the hoop. You can't just get two free throws. you got to finish some of those. But as far as his movements and fluidity, I mean, he is a straight-up big-time athlete. And, Cam, where did he take off from on that dunk? Well, you dreamed about doing things like Greg Brown did on the last play. This is what I dream about, just going through the lane, catching it, and just rising and just putting on somebody's head. I mean, oh, that's nasty. That's Kay Cunningham. Like, that's the type of dude that Greg Brown is. He doesn't care who's in the lane. He's going to score, and he's going to do it aggressively, and he's going to let you know about it. Yeah, I actually did this on my six-year-old son earlier, but it was on his little Nerf hoop. Like, that's all the only hoop I can throw it down on, right? It still means something, but a guy like Greg Brown, you know, playing with the experience. How about Chaka Smart? He's got the hair all of a sudden, right? Maybe that's leading to success. Don't shave the dome. Chaka, the hair is maybe getting your team to a Final Four again. He got there at VCU. And I think he's got the balance of Greg Brown, experience, physicality, and play that Havoc defense that this year's Texas Longhorn team is a legit Final Four contender.